Traders, welcome back to another price action trading lesson. Today is FOMC announcement day and how do I know this? Well, it's because before every trading session I always make sure to check the economic calendar because I want to understand when exactly high impact news come out because I don't want to be taking trades around high impact news that can be spike in volatility. And because this is FOMC announcement day, it is very typical the first half of the day before the announcement to be very slow and after the news come out, the market will pick up a bit so this is definitely normal, however the price session rules are still the same. So I'm going to analyze the structure, big trend range, spike down, spike up, resistance, support and I'm following the trend line rule. Now option played out with the break new high, we're breaking below EMA so this is the first sign of possible reversal pattern. Uptrend played out, spike below EMA, new high, first entry long, pull back. So if we get a felt second entry long it's going to be reversal pattern, we have a felt second entry long here very close to being a solid reversal pattern but we are not fully to EMA and also the single bar didn't take higher now very close to being a decent setup you can consider but it is more aggressive because you're not fully at the EMA and I believe we had high impact news to be announced soon here so it is better to just be patient we actually had back to back news 8.45 in 9 o'clock so it is better to be patient market keeps working lower you can see the news came out big spike in volatility and another rejection of the EMA. So right now what I have to do as a price session trader, I need to look for the correct channel because after breaking new stream, market keeps breaking lower. So I have to ask myself why? And EMA keeps rejecting series of lower highs and lower lows. So the structure is more bearish than just this initial tight channel at first followed. So I'm gonna look for bigger pattern and this channel is getting confirmation here and here. It aligns with the EMA. So this is a very nice wider channel to trust. You can see how nice the candles fit inside. So right now going to rules, we expect new extreme to be tested. So I'm thinking about second entry short, but I can see that we have push above EMA. So this is already quite a concern. I'm going to see EMA rejecting prices. And now we have a second entry short, but problem is, since there was such a massive spike above EMA like this, and this second entry short is still above EMA, there's a big chance this bullish flag is gonna get a retest. So I cannot really sell just yet, I would like to see some new high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long failure. That never form, a market continues to work higher and now we have another second entry short that is also triple test. And this would have been a great setup had there been better signal bar, as you can see you cannot sell below bullish bar, you are a seller, bearish trend is present, you expect new extreme to be tested following the trend line rule and you have also visual to like a pullback not only mini second entry short but a visual one one top double top triple top you know double bar entry maybe but it's really looking quite ugly horrible single bar here so great context for short because you have triple test and second entry short but the single bar was bad can we get a lower high we cannot get a lower high now we tested the new extreme almost we have actually double bottom very close to new low being tested and now ema flattened a lot and we are in the middle of the trend range so there's a big chance we're going to test the new low again to get the technical new low but at the same time you know sellers can consider double bottom valid as a retest so I cannot be taking any step right now just got to be careful we are in middle trading range it is tempting to both buy and sell at the same time this is what we call congestion EMA is exactly in one of these bars so I cannot take a setup in a congestion like this up jump played out with the break move to new extreme and now we have another second entry short you have a new low for the century short, pull back second entry short. The single bar is quite big, so you may need to use limit order. And you're selling quite high, so this is a decent sub to take a chance because you're applying the range rules. You want to sell high. You trade it down into this. You have brought to like a pullback. Decent setup. It worked barely for a scalp. Nine ticks exactly, so good enough. I don't think we can take a lower high because right now you're above EMA. Why we didn't break below EMA? If I'm going to sell, I need to see something below EMA. We have fell breakout and we have three consecutive bearish bars. So I'm, what I'm thinking about is a lower high confirmation setup. But as you can see, lower high never formed. So market proved me wrong. I was looking for confirmation over the fell breakout going back into trend range. And because market keeps trending higher, it is very tempting to draw even the wider channel something like this. Although it is not an alternative you're quite excited about because if we're going to zoom back, this is a trend range. And we were really supposed to go back into the initial one. So let's see what's going to happen. Second entry long, never triggered. There is no break above this bullish bar. And by the time I can reverse down like this, you have to adapt. This is truly a trading range pattern. And I'm going to draw a brand new downtrend 
working over like this. We have a small break, move to a new extreme. I'm gonna extend my key level like this. Break, new extreme. Now when I was watching this live, I was playing a little bit broader downtrend because the push down was quite strong. But remember, I still need to respect the short term uptrend. There is a second entry short, but it is a horrible inside bar above EMA inside of this uptrend, so I cannot sell. And once we push higher like this on a full second entry short, you have to adapt why we're tracing too much. There's a small break new extreme, and now we have actually decent setup. High low confirmation of the full second entry short. So right here, the high low is confirming you that the full second entry short is a valid setup. And this is first great high probability setup for today. Great high low confirmation like this. Market created a break and move to a new extreme. Something like this. We're breaking below EMA. So at this point, I'm going to redraw a bigger trend edge because EMA is still flattened. We have consistent price points up and down. So we have to follow right now trend range rules. Okay. Buy low, sell high. But in the meantime, while you're expecting for price action to go all the way to these key extremes, you are still looking for channels inside the trend range. And if you're going to get a good tool like a pullback, you can definitely consider. Okay. Break, new extreme, new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long. So downtrend played out and we can trust the break in new low because it is very similar to this pattern right here. And you also have visual two legged pullback like this, almost perfect measured move, brought two legged pullback. And if I'm going to zoom back once again, flat EMA train range. So the, according to range rules, you want to buy low and sell high. Downtrend played out and this is not only second entry long, this is also fell breakout out of the trend range. You're far from the EMA, you're going to pull back. This is great. High probability setup, second entry long, fell breakout. Market broke higher. And now we have what? We have confirmation setup of the second entry long and of the fell breakout. So this is another decent high probability setup. However, the signal bar is four points. So definitely need to use limit order. But because the support keeps holding, downtrend played out. The seller sold directly into the support while the downtrend played out. You're back about the EMA. You need to follow the trend range rules. Halo is a confirmation setup. Can we get also a full second entry short? No full second entry short right here. We have micro double top come reset. I was looking for a second entry long, but there is no, actually it's a little bit tighter like this, but there is no second entry long because I have to reset the count. You can see this high and this high equal highs come reset. First entry long, by the time I get a second entry long, we already created new high, so I cannot go long above this bullish bar because new high was already created. Market keeps going lower like this. So you can see pretty healthy and convincing trend range, breaking new high reversal, breaking new low reversal, breaking new high. So we expect another reversal. Just simply following tight channels inside of a trend range. Break lower, now we have a lower high. Below EMA, it is okay setup. Because the trend range is so healthy and market is really reversing every single time there is a break in your extreme, you can consider low high right below the EMA, something like this. And now we even have a felt second entry long, new high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long feather. So you can also consider a felt second entry long because right now there is no reason to think bullish because uptrend played out, market will pivot, felt second entry long, a decent bearish bar, market continues to work lower. Now, this would have been a good area to go long again, but we have inside bar here. Can you get a high low confirmation sub above EMA? You know, this is high low, but notice how far up the single bar form. It is far from the EMA, so we can't really take it. And generally, you don't want to be trading one hour before the FOMC because it gets really slow. So as you can see, the FOMC announcement is going to be announced soon. There can be spike in volatility, so you don't want to be placing trades at minimum, something like 30 minutes before FOMC, I generally take the whole hour because a lot of times the hour before FOMC, there is nothing happening. It's just stalling so slow. News came out. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it is super fast. It doesn't seem like this when we're watching this in hindsight, but when we're watching this real time, everything is moving super fast. You have no time to think about the structure. Now market finally is breaking higher and now it is becoming easy for me to understand what kind of structure am I thinking about? Because we have high lows inside this trend range. And right now we have brand new option established. 
I'm going to draw a brand new uptrend working high or something like this. You can see how EMA is pointing up. The uptrend is very strong. Only a price entries are working. You can't even pull back the EMA. I'm thinking about second entry long. Now we have a second entry long, but we're not at the EMA. Okay, you can see we're not with the EMA. Tempting setup. Market keys working high. Now the break is so tiny. We can actually widen it just a little bit because when the break is this tiny and the structure is basically still intact, I can definitely keep the channel still in play. So you can see we can't even touch the EMA. This is a very strong uptrend. So the bias right now based on price action as you're analyzing this is bullish. So your goal is to let the correction play out. Break, move to new extreme, downtrend played out. So you have break in new extreme for the downtrend. And right now you're thinking about new high for the uptrend following the trend line rule. So this is how you're going to predict the direction bias of the market. But just because you expect new high, that doesn't mean you can just buy blindly at the bottom right here because you don't know if there's going to be one more push lower. You need to see the push above EMA and high velocity setup there. And now we have high low confirmation setup of what? It is confirming second entry long right here. And it is confirming the fact that we need to get new extreme. So this is a great high probability setup, high low confirmation setup of the second entry long. And it is also confirming the fact that we need to get the new extreme. So great single bar. And now we even have second entry long and a felt second entry short. But the single bar is not that great. But because the context is so strong, there is no case for bears. Downtrend played out to like a pullback, push above EMA. There's absolutely no case for sellers. So you can take a seller that is a little bit more aggressive, more sketchy. You can see the nice tail at the bottom indicating buying pressure. Had this closed, one more tick high would have been decent setup. I'm gonna mark it definitely aggressive, borderline being green, because this is very close being great setup, because it is double high priority setup in one. New high for a century long, second entry long, new low for a century short, second entry short. New high was created, so I have to pause looking to go long, though EMA keeps Rejecting still, but since we just have a break in your high, you have to be careful. So let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, at this point, it's starting to look like there may be some additional channel. But we're breaking back below the EMA like this, so I'm gonna redraw possible uptrend like this. Excuse me, possible downtrend. We have a second entry short, but it feels way too early to sell just yet. If I'm gonna zoom back, notice how strong this uptrend was. You know, this is too early to sell, so I'm just gonna be careful now. EMA is flattening. We are entering a consolidation phase. So this is pretty much area of development. No good setup here. It is both tempting to buy and sell at the same time. So we got to be careful until there's a brand new structure developed. Right now the market is finally breaking lower. So now we have clean leg down, brand new downtrend established. So we expect new extreme, new low. So we'd like to see second entry short at the EMA, first entry short. Can we get the second entry short at the EMA, the high probability setup while the downtrend needs to get new extreme? No second entry short, only first entry short. Okay, significant momentum is happening. You can see the downtrend is quite strong. Notice how far it is trending. So once again, why after break new low, there's so many pushes to a new extreme. There is possibly a bigger wider downtrend. So I can draw wider downtrend, something like this. And let's see how the correction is going to play out. We have a first entry short. You can see we have a second entry short, but you can't take this. This is so far down, far from the EMA. The move down already happened. Okay, the move down already happened. Once again, double bottom. I cannot sell now. Now we have first entry short. You can technically call this a full second entry long, but it is too late because the move down already happened. You want to catch the trap when the move down is about to form, not when the leg down already happened. And now we have a second entry short. At the top of this resistance, problem is the short term uptrend, no matter how I draw it, is still in play. Actually, it is a new high, excuse me, for this lag. I kind of didn't notice this because if I'm going to measure this, yes, this is few ticks lower than this. So this is a first lag, break, second lag. Oh, now you have broad to leg a pullback and also new low first entry short, second entry short. So you have visual second entry short and tiny local second entry shorts this is a great high quality setup brought to a gap pullback downtrend needs to get new extreme lower high is far from the ema we cannot take and now we have how would you call this double high quality setup new low first entry short second entry short 
new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long failure. So every single time you have more reasons to enter, you always trust the setup a little bit more. The more reasons you have, the better. Broad to like a pullback played out is indicating reverse of hell because reverse is supposed to be steep, strong push above EMA. There is no bullish trend present. Flat EMA brought two legs. Bulls attempted to reverse, failed. It's basically confirming that big downtrend is gonna get the new extreme. Two great hypothesis setups, and now market keeps going, but it's getting way too late. Very typical FOMC day, where the first half of the day is extremely slow, and the second half is very very volatile. You have to be careful trading the second part of the day because everything is so fast. The bars generally are much bigger. So if you're new to this, make sure you're gonna scale down or just go to simulator or maybe just watch it see how price session develops because it is moving so fast and it is hard to make decisions so make sure you're not going to be trading your live trades when you're uncomfortable because you need to be comfortable so just go back to sim to maybe get the practice and get the experience what it's like to be trading faster markets so this is it for today i hope you had a good trading day i'm gonna wrap it up i'm gonna to talk to you next time good luck with your trading